Hey, good morning. It's Geo Jerry. Maybe it's afternoon or evening for you. I don't know, but for me it's morning time. And today, my wife and I are out doing a field puzzle out in some beautiful rose gardens. So what we gotta do is solve some uh, some some questions based on the roses around because they're all they have names on, on them and stuff. For instance, like over in this area here, we have the Fourth of July. So there's like an example. Oh, I guess I'm in my sock too. So we have these roses all over. So we gotta solve this field puzzle here until we can find our, our final. So we're gonna search around in the rose garden, find our, solve our field puzzle. So there's five different rose gardens that we're gonna be checking out. This is the first one. I'll get back to you on the second one. So, yeah. oh, let me show you these roses real quick. They're really awesome. We have made it, we have made it to the center garden. I thought they were all rose gardens, but they're not. Because this one here is full of rhododendrons and azaleas. Like for instance, this right here is a rhododendron. They don't have the flowers because usually they bloom in March, the springtime. So by the time you get to summertime, they're, they're, they're gone. So now we're in the, ooh, right in the middle of this garden. We gotta grab our little bit of information. So we can move on to our uh, next location. Okay, so we've made it to our third garden, which this one is back to roses again. So it looks to me as though I'm thinking that you have the center, which has azaleas and rhodes, then the outer four have roses. Luckily, our roses are in bloom because we're gonna need to, to know some colors of the roses to solve this part of our field puzzle. Field puzzles are pretty cool too, by the way. Yeah, and see some areas that you haven't been to before. I've never been to this rose garden before. Look at the colors of these. Hopefully, I got the sun in the right position. Those are pretty. Sometimes, you just gotta stop and s smell the roses. Oh, man, these parks smell good. All right, so we have made it to our next rose garden oh man this is just amazing look at the look at these some amazing amazing flowers okay so we gotta solve our field puzzle for for this little this little rose garden here there are some amazing roses here Here's some like small roses. It's kind of getting towards the end of the, the rose season too, it looks like. By the way, I'm not really scared of honeybees. They're busy doing their own thing as long as I don't bother them. This is our last park, our last not even park, our last garden that we have to find information in. So I'm kind of back in the center of this garden where all the, the roses are. So we gotta go find some more information in here to help complete our field puzzle. Once we get our two pieces of information for this, then we'll have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I think that's all we have to do um, to get all of our cords. And we're, we'll be set to go find that final, that final one. And looks like we uh we found a another another one. And but while she's doing that, I gotta stop and uh, I know, I know, I know. Oh my gosh, this one smells really good. Some roses, you know, some roses smell really nice, and then some maybe not so nice. Don't smell dandelions; those stink like. Ugh. But that rose was, had a really nice fra fragrance to it, really perfumey. All right, so I'm gonna get my my data, and then we'll be heading off to the the final, whoa, the final destination. All right, right here, I have all the numbers I need. All I gotta do is put them together and get that final destination. So I'm gonna do my math right here on this. You know, some bird bird poop on here, but that's okay. Right on this bench, I'm gonna we're gonna do some math here, get these chords figured out, and we'll see you at the final location. All right, it's on to the final location. Looks like we're driving there, Bigfoot. We have made it to the, near the location of the 
of the final. So now we're just gonna walk up there and see if we can find that geocache and give it a little signature on there. All right, so we, we reached our final location and we have found the geocache. We're gonna go ahead and sign the location. And to leave you with this, what I wanna say is this, in life in general, sometimes it's always, always good to just stop and smell the roses. Because, you know, you can think of life in two ways. Kind of like a rose bush, you know? You can curse the thorns on that rose bush, or you can bless those, sm those, those smelly, beautiful flowers that have the protection of the thorns. I hope that made sense. Anyway, thank you for stopping by, visiting my video. Please, subscribe. It'll be in one of these two corners. And I'll see you on our next adventure.